show where we chat through various topics on design, culture, and the business of creativity. Now say hello and welcome Carrie and Angel. Okay, welcome to Made in House. This is uh, episode three of season two. Thank you guys for being here with us. My name is Angel Acevedo. And this episode is episode three. What did I say? Two. Welcome to Made in House. This is episode three, season two. My name is Angel Acevedo. And this is Cari Acevedo, my incredibly smoking hot wife. Well, smoking hot is one, so you still landed at two. But yeah, thank yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Cari? It's going. It's indeed going. It's going. Yeah. It's good. We're, we've been trying to get to this episode and we're doing it. So, yes. um, Happy it is December, everybody. It's, it's December, that's it. <clears throat> Hence the holidays are here. I'm like, I'm like pointing at the <laughs> <clears throat> CC uh, <laughs> Christmas tree, a shout out. Yeah. And uh, what a special time! <clears throat> what a special time. I always look forward to the holidays, and I'm glad that we're able to share it together now with a little one. Yeah, it's going to be his first like official christmas last year he was like two days three days three days old that's right yeah and um so it's gonna be a very special special month special Mm -hmm. season so i'm really looking forward to it um but i don't know about you like after a certain amount of time i was like okay i'm in i'm done with christmas it's like uh you know what i mean like i mean in january yeah you know it's like well baby because i gotta miss it you know so okay you get what i'm saying yes but um anyway uh we always look forward to this month because a lot of things happen. A lot of really cool things happen. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Something really interesting, super cool um, that we're excited about. But before that, I want to thank you guys for for joining us and for liking and sharing, and subscribing and hearting and sharing. I already said sharing. Yeah. Supporting and, the channel. And of, and of course, special, special thank you to our members um, for you guys for supporting us and, and uh, just being there for us when we need you. <laughs> what is it the special shout out to members only mm. <laughs> can i have like sound effects didn't they oh that's one of our favorite jackets members only yeah should be wearing it they make cool so um this episode uh no fit check we're just gonna get right into it even Let's though i'm wearing it. some dope guy in merch but comes out next year 2024 comes out at some point soon yeah and um Karin and I, I as you know we've talked about it before we Went to art school. We've been together for tw- uh, 12 years, 11 years, 11 years, 11 years, Mm-mm. 20, 2012 plus 11. We're going 2023. Oh, yeah, you're right. right. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> oh, God, <clears throat> I'm like that, that meme of like the math. Yeah. And um, so ever since we met, uh, we've always gone to these events together um, in December, the first week of December, which is coming up um, December 6th. So you want to tell them what that is, Scotty? Yes. It's Art Week in Miami. In Miami. The first week of December is Art Week in Miami. Yeah. So uh, this episode is coming out December 5th. And so this weekend, guys. That's right. This weekend. Uh, but... We're going to talk about it. Basically, um, it's Art Week because it's evolved. Um, we have Art Basel exhibit here. Right. And um, if you're not familiar with Art Basel, it's a fair that started in Sweden, was it, baby? Switzerland. Switzerland. So sorry. Basel, Switzerland. Ba- Basel, Switzerland. Right. And it's hosted in four different places, right? So it's Miami, Paris, Hong Kong, and Basel. Yeah. Switzerland. So one of four opportunities is here in Miami. Miami Beach, yeah. And it happens every year, the first week of December. Now, Art Basel is a private fair. So it's an actual exhibition that is hosted in the convention center in Miami Beach. Right. But it's evolved into Art Week because now we have a bunch of other fairs that exhibit private fairs like Context and Design Miami, mm-hmm. Untitled, different ones. There's also a bunch of things that happen so there's parties there's private events um a lot of art things that you can go like exhibitions by smaller studios or like individual people and it's actually a really fun very eventful week here in miami 
And so we want to talk about it because if you've never been and you're near Miami, like West Palm Beach is close. Even Central Florida, I would say, you know. True. Come to Miami and hang out. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy it. So we're going to talk about why we're pitching this to you and why we're encouraging you to go. But like Angel said, we've been going together for the last 10 years and it's kind of like Bible for us. Like that first week of December, we don't do anything. We leave it open because we know Basil's coming and we try to be flexible for anything that our friends may be doing right. or sometimes our church, food church does things or sometimes we get lucky and we get access to stuff. Like one year, I think it was what, 2017, 2016, 2017, we got the Basel Bible. Wow. And it was a yeah. document that yeah, yeah, yeah. a dear friend of ours, Diana, Diana she shared with us. Mm-hmm. And it had, a bu- it must have been like three pages long of okay, just links. PDF. And it was like Monday links, Tuesday links. And it had like, like VIP stuff that we were not supposed to be at. A hundred percent. To like regular uh, houses or exhibitions um, to VIP tickets. So yeah. it was really fun that year. We, we basled hard. We basled hard. We went every day long. Like uh, we, we late. shut down the studio. Mm-hmm. We said, we're not going to do any work this week and, and we'd be out long. Um, and basically the reason we do it, one is to support the artists and their friends who exhibit work, but also just participating and inspired. Right. So Angel, tell us your experience uh, over the years of Basel, what you love doing the most, what you look forward to yeah. and what you get out of it. Um, why you love going. Yeah. I, um, and I'll preface by saying that we are not sponsored by Art Basel <laughs> or Art Week, even though if you want to sponsor us, uh, hashtag, what does this mean? Hashtag. Hashtag sponsor. Look at this. I understand. Looks like but a hashtag. Like, okay. Yeah. Hashtag sponsor. You know, like on Instagram. You know, hashtag oh, I see. sponsored ad. Just want to make sure you guys know that we're not sponsored. Oh, I You know get what it. I mean? So, um, but if our Basel wants to sponsor us, by all means. Uh, I want to say that uh, I've been going to Basel since 2009-ish, 8-ish, when I was in Art Institute. And I would go with friends. Uh, Lily, Kiki, and uh, uh, the Puerto Ricans, are, I'm blanking out, Juan and Edwin and all those guys. Mm-hmm. And um, I found out about it. I don't I don't know how long it's been in Miami Beach. We could probably look it up. But uh, it's, it's special in a lot of different ways. Uh, one is because it does happen in our city or technically in Miami Beach, which it only happens in four other places, which is Hong Kong. Paris, uh, Switzerland. Oh, did you already name them? I don't even remember. Uh-huh. Anyway, it happens in all those places. And um, the fact that it's right here, it's like super convenient. But while we were in art school, I remember uh, the, the students, we would walk around and stuff and be like, hey, are you going to go to this event? Are you going to go to that event? Are you going to go to this event? And I remember going to some of the dopest installations. One being, one installation being Friends With You, uh, which is a design studio in Miami as well. And um, they're a creative, a creative house. And I know in t- people that interned there at this from the school that were interned. They're all friends with you, and it's like you know when you're talking about like these agencies and whatever. And they did these balloons, um, these inflatable balloons of like clouds and their happy faces, and you would like sort of walk through it, and um, you could take pictures or whatever. It was just very colorful, very bright. And I remember um, experiencing that one, and plus the other ones that we did. Of, of course, it was parties and other things like that with DJs and exclusive stuff. But I, I would just never been to anyth- anything like that. At that time, Wynwood, well, it wasn't new, but it was in the early days of Wynwood. And it's not what it is now, which is a little bit more commercialized. So back then, it was like all these smart, small art galleries and, and artists and stuff that would invite you to like all these events. And it was so dope. And people would just be walking around everywhere around Wynwood area. Um, and I always found it inspirational for me to like man in the future i would like to do like a pop-up or like an experience Mm -hmm. that we can um create like this mini world or create something where people can just come in and not just see your brand but like experience your brand at some capacity you know Mm -hmm. so it started then uh, at least for me and then um 
uh, every year. We look forward to it. I know we'll talk about, about the Basel Bible because that's in 17. But then Gary and I met in 2012 and we started going again together. We also went to stuff in the beach, a lot of cool fairs in the beach. And, and we'll, we'll break down some of our favorite. But uh, I do want to talk about one installation that we found. And I'm trying to remember the artist's name uh, because I, could, I couldn't find the stickers. I couldn't find what it, what it was. But it was in this artist, it was like a street artist that rented a, 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 a space like this, kind of like a living room space. And he put arcade machines. Mm-hmm. You remember, remember that? We went with Sam and Angeline. Mm-hmm. Um, we loved them a lot. And uh, it was only black lights in there. So imagine it's like you got the space, you got black lights. The floor is full of like we pasted posters with like bright neon colors. And then you have um, all these sort of arcade machines, the same thing with neon colors and the black light would was shine now it was very miami themed and each game was a theme about miami but it was more more of like the vice side of miami which was like drugs and violence and things like that you know but um it was i, rem- I will never forget it I, w- I thought it was the coolest thing ever and we took pictures you still talk and stuff. about it i yeah. mean you're talking about it now i mean so. i'm talking about it right now it's like mm-hmm. but it's such a cool installation that i feel like it's the opportunity for a lot of artists to really uh, plant their flag and do uh, something that people won't forget, you know. Um, and of course, there's also, like I said, the parties and, and whatnot. But um, fast forward to Basil Bible, which was I think I was working at Ronin with Dan, Diana at that time, and she sent us. Oh, this. you were in the studio with us. We had the studio. All oh, right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, because it was 2017. Sorry, it was 2017, and um, we get this link to like all these events and i'm still always fishing every year i'm like basil bible just to see if we could find it and um we ended up in some of the some really dope places and i think one of them was it was a vodka company wasn't it was it smirnoff i don't remember i think so or not absolute it was one of those they were like, what are we doing here? Because we walked in and everybody looked like super ritzy and stuff. And it was right by the water. Like, right. It was right in the in the beach. Yeah. Um, and you walk in and it leads you right into the sand. And in the sand, they had like different installations and different uh, tents and stuff. that You can kind of walk through. They had different DJs and things like that. So, um, you know, I'm like reminiscing. All that to say that it's definitely an experience that I would highly recommend, especially if you're in the creative field to uh, go out and get inspiration and go out and find ins- find inspo in places or installs or experiences that aren't necessarily part of your um, industry or part of your career. Mm-hmm. Like if you're a UI UX designer, you can go into some of these things and like get inspo as to like how things fit together and how things move or like what the experience for the person walking in is like, you know, yeah. or if you're doing editorial, if you're doing identity design or whatnot. So um, I know I, I covered the span of like 10 different, 10 years, but to me, it's it's like a must. We try to every year. I think last year we couldn't or did we? I did. Um, I was pregnant, so I did it to get the baby out. Um, but we I didn't do, went, we yeah, didn't do we too didn't much. Do it, we, we didn't do, do too much. much. And maybe this year we'll, maybe we'll get a sitter and try to, or bring the sitter with us. I don't know, you mm-hmm. know, but definitely is, is something that you must do. What about you? What do, what kind of memories do you have as, or what do you look forward to uh, when it comes on to Basel? Yeah, I think for, for me, it's just having that kind of art here in Miami. So Miami, um, you know, when it comes to art, um, we don't always have like, um, known artists or like classical artists you know like if you go to new york you may find a museum that has classical pieces or like paris or whatever we have the pam here and they're they're doing a great job but sometimes you don't always see you know like the mona lisa for example you have to go to paris to go see that right. and so for me it's an opportunity to be exposed to some of these um paintings and artistry that i normally wouldn't unless I travel to go see them, um, they're coming to me. So I do love going to Basel because um, it's the most expansive art collection that comes to Miami. And um, it's intended for art collectors, you know. And so we're hoping that one day we were able to be part of that world, you know, and buy art. Mm -hmm. But for me, it's like this learning thing. Sometimes I'll see people 
have conversations and how they do their sales. At one time, I saw Leo DiCaprio are at Basel, yeah, 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 yeah. and he was like looking at Arm by Arm, like this is so cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I love that world of it, and then I also love just seeing new stuff that's coming out or artists that I follow that I love, and they do exhibitions, uh, just for Basel, and so you kind of get like an exclusive sneak peek or peek at something that they're doing you know and so um i love that it's also a lot of fun Mm -hmm. we tend to go with friends and we just have we create really good memories and we end the week really inspired really inspired really inspired like yeah especially it's a great way to end the year you know and start your start your new year Refresh for the new year yeah and um i think it always challenges us too you know like they're able to do it we can do it so it's inspiring it's challenging it's it's um i think for us it's like one of those things that like recharges us you were saying that earlier it's like a must it's like if you were like if you got connected to like a power outlet yeah yeah yeah. and then like you're boosted up for the next year you know and and i I will say two things one is uh our basel is the actual fair Mm -hmm. that happens in the beach right Mm -hmm. and um, like i was saying people fly from all over the world not only to display their work, but to sell their work. So it's like millions and I don't know, probably billions of dollars of worth of art that passes through Miami and people are just buying stuff. And I remember one year I went to, I don't know if it was Scope or one of these fairs. Um, and I would, wanted to buy a piece. It was, I think, Charmaine Olivia, maybe. It want to be one of those pieces or maybe Martin Watson. I don't remember. Um, it was just priced out of like, yeah. but I was talking to somebody. I was like, how cool is, is it that I can literally, if I, couple thousand dollars i get an original piece from one of my favorite artists Mm -hmm. um and not only that you have local artists that do stuff Mm -hmm. you know like atomic or adam um he usually posts he's usually posting somewhere in winwood and i ended up getting some of his pieces here uh i like a snapback and like one of his tiny little squares Mm -hmm. Uh, he's the guy that does the oranges uh the the happy orange i don't i don't know what you would call it um but you see all, all over miami um so i think it's a it's an opportunity for you to kind of see stuff like Ari was saying that you wouldn't necessarily run into. Having said that, um, Basel has made the news in recent years for really postmodern art. Like, oh, yeah, the banana, like the banana with the duct tape or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, it got roasted by by everyone. Even my even, even my Internet guys yeah. roasted it. You, you know? know what? Marketing free marketing sure yeah marketing for the fair um yeah but somebody ended up buying it. i don't know how much they paid for it somebody ended up buying it somebody ate it i don't know if you saw this somebody actually i don't keep up with it somebody ate it and then had to put another banana on the thing okay Um, that's dumb but which it goes to it goes to show i have my personal feelings about postmodernist art which i think a lot of it is is bs or a lot of it is just like who does it first who does the thing first there's recently a, a, a um a story about an artist um that does art with money and i forgot his name and um some museum commissioned him to do an art piece about money and uh, he ended up submitting a blank canvas blank and it was like i don't know it was like the size of a wall and it was called take the money and run and it was like oh ha 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 you took the money but he submitted a blank piece of art and they tried to sue him and it was like a whole thing anyway i'm going off on a soapbox i don't know if that's art well, that's what I'm saying. Okay. In, in Basel, there's there are things like that that you look at it and you're like, oh, okay, you know, mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. Our, ba- our Basel, which is the main fair in in Miami Beach, it's like a it's like a huge. It's in the convention center. I got it here. It's in the Miami Beach Convention Center. Yeah. And that's when you would you would go to. I don't remember what the price is. Um, I think it's like it's affordable. A, it's pretty like affordable. fifty bucks or something. Yeah, it's pretty affordable. It's one of the most expensive exhibitions or fairs that you'll go to because the other ones are like dirty or yeah, something but it's like the exhibition it's right? the exhibition the exhibition and that kind of brings everything i think it's worth it but i wanted to ask you outside of the main one mm-hmm. what are some of your favorite um fairs to go to for me besides basil is um i love uh design miami and I, that's like the architecture mm. um not architect architecture and like furniture yeah exhibition and i just love to see materials like you were talking earlier about um kind of getting out of your industry or the things that you normally do right. so i really love that one i'm really into kelly wrestler i really admire what she does in her work i think it really speaks to me and i 
I'm not saying that I'm like her, but I think we have similarities and sometimes how we design, like putting contrasting things together or unordinary things together. And like people like that will exhibit there. And so I like to to go to that. And then the other one is, um, what's the name of it? The one that we like. To go scope, to. probably. Scope. Scope. I try, well, we try not to miss scope. Scope, yeah. And um, because that's like the urban fair. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the stuff that we're also into. Like street art and stuff. Yeah. Um, like Martin Watson Martin exhibits Watson. there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's found at that fair. And so we enjoy going. And sometimes, depending on our year, if we have the time or not, um, fashion houses do exhibitions down right. here too. And I like to go to those as well because, again, I am not in Paris. I don't go to Paris Fashion Week or New York Fashion Week. Miami doesn't really have a fashion week if we do it like swimsuits or something. Um, so I'll, I, those are like the ones that I kind of like to go to. Yeah. Once I do those, I kind of got my my art tank or meter filled. And then yeah. the rest is like local stuff. Yeah. Like, you know people that we know are doing stuff and then hanging out part not we don't really party but like if there's like a dj we like or something that's true we'll go to the dj yeah, we'll go to the dj hang out and just mm-hmm. vibes got in all, all about the vibes and just to have a good time and yeah. stuff and speaking of martin watson um one of the things that i'm sure he's not the only one that does this but um one of the things that uh, artists may do is they do like scavenger hunts and they, Martin Watson, if you follow him on Instagram, it's Martin and then Watson with a H W H A T, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, he'll post one of his like original pieces. He, uh, he'll post this somewhere like by a stop sign by downtown Miami or something like that. And then it's up to you to like pick it up, That's which fine. it kind of adds a, a certain level, like it gamifies yeah. the whole experience, which I think it's really cool. We wanted to try something like that out of Toby Max and uh, we were just... There was a lot going on, so we couldn't do it. But no. um, which I think is so in- it's really cool. And so like now every year we anticipate him doing that. Right, him he's doing, been it. doing it for a few years, for, for many years, yeah. you know. So um, and uh, I one of the m- memories that I have for for the, for not necessarily possible art week was I think and I don't know if we went together. Uh, there was an absolute event. Were you there for that one? I don't, I don't know. know. It was a, I went with the Puerto Rican uh, gang and uh it was not it was i think absolute hired mr brainwash to create a whole experience and uh if you know who mr brainwash is he was featured in the movie um exit through the gift shop which was banksy's movie and there's conspiracy about who you know who the real artist is there but that whole experience was super dope they had like giant spray cans and it was all like graffiti they had like walls and stuff of artwork um stencil artwork and of course i had the drinks absolutely sponsored it so it's like as as much as you could drink or whatever but i just remember just walking through and and seeing all the art and seeing like a lot of times i don't know about you but i'm like man i wish i had that much time i wish i could do that and i think you can kind of leave feeling a little like deflated deflated but maybe you look at it and, we, and you're like man uh maybe this isn't my niche maybe i can try something else or maybe there's other mm-hmm. things and that's what the cool thing about the whole art week is that there's so many different types of expressive artwork through different mediums you know that's not just necessarily the traditional yeah the, the, the traditional style you know so yeah so let's share some of our favorite fairs i've talked about a few but um let's share are there more to share? Or am yeah. I? yeah okay. there's, there's Let's share them. And then um, I think we'll end the podcast with um, just telling you to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but be on the lookout. So this week um, you'll see people post about it. So um, we're going to try and do a post. Mm-hmm. Or at least in the stories of Main and House, we'll repost things that people are sharing. Right. Um, but just be on the lookout for your favorite artists. Maybe they're coming, or like go on the Miami New Times or Herald or right. I don't know. What the else? Guide. They're usually called like guides or something like yeah. that. Yeah. 
or you can Google, thank you, um, Basel 2023 Week, Guide yeah. or mm-hmm. whatever, and um, try to connect with something. We'll, and we'll try um, to put it in the description. Make and a little group of friends and go hang out. But um, before we end the show, what are some of our favorite fairs? Uh, well, I think you mentioned, well, you mentioned already Scope, which yes. I think it's, I think Scope is like my go-to too. Like I got to go to mm-hmm. Scope. And they do such a good job of curating art that fits within their sort of world you know because mm-hmm. i've seen like neon signage and of course you see like the street art i don't think i've ever seen a banksy or anything like that there um but you've seen uh yeah stencil art and uh installations and things like that so scope is definitely one you want to be on the lookout for i i know we get vip tickets from years ago because we've been signed up for a long time um uh, but even if you can pay for it i I think it's like 30 bucks or 20 something last i checked that yeah. was the, the yeah price. maybe now it's, it's more expensive but that, that's definitely one that i would highly recommend that you go to especially if you're like a graphic designer uh i think you'll you'll really appreciate that one um basel i think is also kind of like a must but even though i like scope more uh basel is more of like the traditional like hundred thousand dollar pieces and you know um a lot of postmodernism artwork there and just like some of that stuff that's what you'll probably see, like celebrities for the most part. Because uh, who was it that you saw? You I've saw. Seen you know, a, I've seen a lot of, uh, not a lot, but I've seen. You've seen a, a few, mm-hmm. right? Uh, celebrities that that go to that. And so, just to kind of give you a timeline, Art Week is the sixth through the tenth. So, what's the? Today's the fifth, Wednesday. So it starts tomorrow, and um, all the way till Monday. Sunday. Sunday is the last day. Sunday, all the way to Sunday. Thank you. And um, so if when you see this, you still have time to buy tickets to some of this stuff. Um, and um, But Basel is the 8th through the 10th. And I think they do have like a VIP thing like the days before that you can go to. But Scope, um, I also love Context. Context is really good. Um, and it's interesting because a lot of times these fairs are kind of next to each other. They used to be in Midtown. I think they moved them to where the... Miami Herald used to be, yes. which is not too far away. But Context, usually Context, Art Miami, um, I think are in Midtown. Um, they may have moved them. They moved them. Mid- nothing fits in Midtown anymore. Well, sorry, not in Midtown. They were there. But I'm saying is they're not in the beach, the Miami Beach anymore. They used to be by the Herald, but the Herald building, the land got bought. So I don't yeah. know. We don't we'll know. find out. We'll find out. There's a guide um, and we'll put in the description whatever we find we'll put it in the description so you guys can go to that and then there's uh yeah design miami and hold on i had another one here that i have pulled up um we've been to pinta pinta's pretty good that's one in mana winwood we've been to that you remember mm-hmm. it mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh let me see what else i got here yeah aqua i don't think i've ever been to that but anyway um i think really the 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 key is yes go to these art fairs go to go to those but then go to like the small installations that like these little bars or the dive bars kind of open up or like the experiences that they have they'll have like a dope dj and they'll have some art and stuff it's not as bougie it's a little bit more like what's the word hipster maybe you know um and that's really where you kind of get to see a little bit of the culture of miami which i think is really cool um i mentioned the absolute event but that was a little bit more bougie than than anything else i'm trying to remember if, what other kind of low-key maybe 100 lucky is doing something but we'll look into it but um i think that's it for me those are kind of like the ones that i really like to go to and i really enjoy going to and like Gary said i leave super refreshed and super inspired to try new stuff um every year i'm like god is a designer is gonna do something you know and uh yeah, we have to though things always sort of pop up it always kind of catches up to us i had this idea of doing uh the brand bros thing the brand bros installation um eventually one day we'll do that but um i think gadi has has had more an opportunity to work on actual activations during basel especially through vu and i know she talked a little bit about that or a lot uh or you haven't i don't remember you haven't talked about it yet okay sorry about divine design and um which is something that you got to work on and speaking of activations, next door to that was the Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton, which was super sick, yeah. you know. So 
but we'll get into that one day and go through that right yes babe <laughs> <laughs> all right so enjoy your week and uh, be on the lookout for our posts yes and uh we'll be sharing what we're up to and hopefully we get to do more than last year because last year i I was about to give birth, so we didn't do a whole lot. But um, we got to do it. We got to do it. We got to yeah. do it. And have fun. Let us know if you enjoy it, what you find out. Yeah. Um, if you find something that we haven't posted, share it with us and we'll share it with you guys. Um, but enjoy it. And um, we'll be back in two weeks, two which weeks. will be almost Christmas. Yeah. And it's, uh, let me see, the release schedule. I'm looking to see. That is the last episode of the year. The last episode of the year. What date is it? The 19th. The 19th. December 19th. So a couple guys, days before Avon's birthday. We'll see you December 19th for our last episode of the year. And uh, I think we're going to reflect a little bit, maybe. Yeah, that's going to be uh, um, yeah, yeah. going to be fun. So. so now that you're hearing that, start thinking, if you haven't, about what you've accomplished this year, what it's meant to you. And... Um, start thinking about 2024 that's right and uh, we'll do some episodes on our goals and so we're telling you to do what we're gonna do you know it's your homework in terms yes. of the reflection the goals that we have we'll share those with you in the next few episodes but i hope you have an awesome week we're gonna enjoy it yeah we'll be out there we're gonna teach avon all about our basil we'll be uh, and, with a uh, stroller and yeah. uh, <laughs> i'm gonna carry him <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, Poor. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, guys. As always, keep making beautiful, beautiful things. things. And we'll see you around. We'll see you. Thank you for joining Made in House. On your way out, if you would be so kind to follow, subscribe, and or like our episode in the relevant social media platforms. Feel free to share this episode with your colleagues. And as always, keep making beautiful things. <laughs>